Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We nailed that one, my hun. This is Minister Paul and my wife Gail here in Northern California. It's Friday, August 21st, 2017. And what time is it, my hun? Before 7 a.m. It's before 7 a.m. Amen. So, what then should we say to all these things? If God before us, who could be against us? I have some amazing stuff, and I'm going to boldly share it. Let's go right into it. Amen. Date of the video. We're talking about New Jersey here. December 1st. Does everybody see that up here? December 1st, 2015. So almost two years ago. Here's the date. December 1st. It's called Watchman Warning Alert. New Jersey calamity comes out of corruption. I'm going to go right to the video and play about two minutes, and then let's, uh, let's discuss this. Uh, what's going on first the prophecy and now this uh revelation coming out let's let's see what's going on here amen jersey so just I, I have to add that part in in obedience and so i looked up the word calamity and corruption and calamity as a noun an event causing great and often sudden damage or distress a disaster you know, what sticks out here is sudden and, and quote the fire was the latest calamity to strike that area here's some pay attention to this timing so in December 1st 2015 I'm given a watchman warning regarding New Jersey and how a calamity there would come out of corruption and I'm talking about politics and I mentioned an election and then we're going to show the election here and the timing of all this but God does such things in such an amazing fashion we're going to know that this is God. This is not something man can do. He wants all the glory. And God is showing this stuff once again. So look at what I'm talking about. The fire was the latest calamity to strike the area. That is happening right now with the NorCal fires. Isn't it, my huh? Yes. I mean, <laughs> it's, is it 7 a.m. yet? And uh, it, it's simply amazing. Now, and then look at the word tribulation. Let's continue. Just have a listen to this and let me present you a revelation in Jesus' name. Synonyms. Uh, disaster, catastrophe, tragedy, cataclysm, adversity. And then look at this. Tribulation. Yet another amazing confirmation. Affliction, misfortune, misadventure. And then... Um, I looked up the word corruption and as a noun it's dishonest or fraudulent conduct by those in power typically involving bribery and uh, I don't want to add into this as part of this prophecy so I'm just going to tell you that what what I was discerning uh, was uh, that this is government related and uh, having to do with uh, elections but that, that's not part of what the Holy Spirit revealed to me. That's my, uh, that's my personal thoughts on this. I want to be clear on that. So, and, 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 and it also explains that in the definition. A synony synonym, synonyms of uh, corruption, dishonesty, unscrupulousness, double dealing. That's an interesting word. Fraud, fraudulence, misconduct, crime, criminality, wrongdoing, and there's more. It's double dealing. Oh, Watch never this. Never heard sense. that before. The practice of working to people's disadvantage behind their back. Okay, I want to discuss this, and uh, first I want to share the vision that came with this video that I can see right now. It has never went away. Every time I think of this vision, I can literally see it in the spirit. <laughs> I look up double dealing. The practice of working to people's disadvantage behind their backs. This happened yesterday on 1019. Remember that date, 1019. I'm going to play this vision now because we're talking about government, corruption, regarding an election, and calamity coming out of that. This vision now. Duplicity, treachery, 
infidelity, bad faith, disloyalty, breach of trust, fraud, fraud again, cheating, dishonesty, deceit, working deceitfully to injure others. Wow, so I'm going to put that here in the video. Deceit, deceit, working. Going back live. Now I want to talk about the master of deception. Breach of trust, fraud, fraud again, cheating, dishonesty, deceit, working deceitfully to injure others. Wow, so. Oh, okay, that happened yesterday on 1019 with former President George Bush and former President Barack Obama. They were double dealing and working deceitfully to injure others regarding President Trump and an election coming up in New Jersey. You with me? Now listen. Now, okay, so this has happened on 1019 yesterday. And now I want to share this vision. This is so important. Please stay with me here. I, I got a lot I'm going to show you. I want to clarify that this is in regard to election, regarding this prophetic vision and prophecy from 12-1, 2015. Listen. Nothing to do with vote counts. I don't know. I, I, I could only speculate. So... And just on my own here, I'm, I'm, I'm... And then I start talking about uh, nuclear and other types of power plants in that area. And at the 8 minute and 4 second part... And at the 8 minute and 4 second part of this, I'm, I'm starting to share a vision. This is what came from the Holy Spirit right here and I'm putting it in and I've created a playlist for alert warnings for New Jersey um, what I began to look up uh, just from from kind of what I saw in my vision was uh, power plants and so here's a list of power plants nuclear I don't know if they're active or inactive I'm not gonna go that far into this coal gas fired or combined gas and coal now listen <clears throat> coal didn't become a hot topic until president trump won the election and in december of 2015 i personally didn't even know he was going to run for election but i'll tell you who did god almighty and the nuclear part is regarding a war so just to tell you that part continue to see if i could go just take note of these areas as I start sharing this vision. I never even heard of that. And so, uh, in mass burn. You see that? Mass burns like a fire. This is, video is really difficult for me to make, so I'm just going to let it play on. Because I've watched this video about three times now, and my mind literally wants to explode how powerful God is in this revelation from almost two years ago to the exact detail then I looked up uh, New Jersey airports and there's two Newark Liberty International and uh, Teterboro and there's a, a picture of the map and uh, and then I looked up another thing weather and it appears that uh, as I speak, it, it's currently raining there with a precipitation of 91 degrees. And then I looked up King of uh, Prussia. So the reason why, and I'm just continuing along showing you the same video in order. Um, the reason why I was looking up the, the weather is because in my vision, they were wearing winter clothes. They were wearing winter clothes. So just to summarize all that, the mass burn is talking about the NorCal fires in this vision. The nuclear part is talking about the war that's about to start. The elections is talking about the the governor and lieutenant governor position there in New Jersey. And um, the, the rest is going to become self-evident, okay? Please pray over this.
We're now at the 10 minute and 25 second part of this video, of a 12 minute video. Now, now here's the thing. I'll tell you the vision, and, it's, and I'll put a link to this in the description box for time's sake. <clears throat> in my vision, there's a woman running with another man, and I, I explain their exact winter clothing, their age, they're, they're like millennials in their 20s, I say. Now remember, this is a Holy Spirit revelation from last year coming together in God's timing right now. And it's fulfilling this prophecy through the gift of prophecy, through the Holy, the Holy Spirit of God. Amen. Look, I want people to know, don't take this lightly. This will happen. And ask yourself, how will this affect my life? How can I prepare for it? And is Jesus Christ my God? That's all I want to ask you today because this will happen. So the, these, this, this man and this woman, they're wearing winter clothes, a jacket, and they have ID tags on like they work for the government. They, they have over the lapels, they have those clip-on IDs. And they're running and screaming. And the woman says three times, she says, Woe unto you, New Jersey. New Jersey, New Jersey, woe unto you, New Jersey, woe unto you, New Jersey. She says it three times. And then, and then they, they cry, we've been marked. And they're running from something. And so I, in the vision, I'm showing this red and yellow flashing alert. And what I'm doing right now in this part of the video at 10 minutes is I'm trying to find in Google, as I always do, uh, something that looks close to what I saw in the vision concerning the red and light flashing thing they were running from. It was an emergency. And I come upon NewJersey.com. Remember that. Remember 1019 yesterday, Bush and Obama. Remember these elections going to occur in New Jersey. Remember how God said it would be, uh, you know, it would be a rigged vote count. And and there would be corruption and double dealing, which has already happened, Trump and Bush. And, and the skull and bones is what I'm talking about. Elite skull and bones. And, and then this calamity would come and people are running, screaming, we've been marked. That's the timing I want you to know. While nuclear war is about ready to begin, we're going to discuss this. So here I'm looking. It was, it was, it was like this. This is a radi radioactive nuclear danger symbol flashing. It was it was more it was like this and it was flashing uh, with yellow in it. Wow! Look at that. That's it. What is this? That's what I saw. Okay, now I have to look up and see what this is because that that's uh, real similar to what I saw in my vision. It's called an abled alert. I have no idea. Um, you see all. One, you see anything. all. I mean, God is amazing. How multifaceted He can show eleven different things from just one spoken word. Did you see how it's all talking about missing people? If people are suddenly going missing everywhere, wake up and and find out about these things. People are going missing everywhere, from California to New York. They're vanishing. Children, adults, seniors, homeless. Anywhere. Or is this for missing people? Outbreak, there's one for outbreak. Wow, this is really similar to, uh, 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 is anybody in New Jersey know anything about this? Missing contagious TB patient arrested and detained. You know what, I'm gonna pause, I'm gonna pause here because things become revealed as I make these videos. And I'm just, the reason why I'm pausing is because I'm trying to not turn this into a 30 minute video, amen? That's the only reason, so more people watch it. But there is a person who was diagnosed with tuberculosis, I believe it is, just yesterday. I'm trying to remember what state it was. I'm talking about the timing of this. Does anybody have a link to that uh, person diagnosed with that tuberculosis yeah, just yesterday? Alert. So they have missing people, outbreaks, and recalls. I guess I'll put a link to this site. I know nothing about it, but uh, see what God did. In obedience to God, I, I upload this, and then my next video will be a channel update.
God bless you all. We pray Psalm 91 protection. We pray that people repent and come and receive the free gift of salvation in this area and in all areas because time is short. <clears throat> okay, in this part of the video, I'm wrapping up the fact that on December 1st, 2015, I had a vision. I explained the vision. Now I'm showing you it in text writing on the same video at the 2 minute, 13 minute mark of what I saw. Listen, this is what the Holy Spirit revealed. And then I'm going to show you the fulfillment. The calamity has been held back because of the praying remnant there who interceded for you. Yet my word will be confirmed. My word is never void. Surely this will happen. But my chosen people shall be spared. Come unto me and receive the gift of my salvation before it is too late. Repent. There is eternal safety and security in my presence. Seek me today. Seek my face. Now that, that was... Uh, that was December 1st, 2015. The vision notice was in November 30th, the, the last day of November, next month, but two years ago. And I'm explaining the vision here, and you can see it in writing. I heard in the spirit a woman screaming in distress, New Jersey, New Jersey, woe unto you, New Jersey. And then the Holy Spirit spoke New Jersey and calamity out of corruption and then I explain the flashing light and then I go and I talk about this New Jersey.com and I explain like I don't want to get for some reason see that New Jersey.com slash corruption I didn't want to post that or open the page so I just showed it in text because YouTube was harassing me at the time New Jersey.com corruption now let's go to the fulfillment part of this Yesterday, on 1019, at NewJersey.com, the exact website I'm showing you where calamity is coming out of corruption, what God is showing you two years ago, it says Obama in New Newark, New Jersey. The world is going to be looking at New Jersey. And again, it's 10-19-2017. And... Uh, I'm going to read parts of this that are very important. This is today's newspaper, and it's referencing 1019, and it's a picture. I've seen this picture before. We all probably have. It's uh, They're calling it Bush Obama. Bush Obama, Obama slams state of the nation, and it's a morphed picture of both Barack Obama and George Bush. And what they're coming out is they're slamming Donald Trump, the current president, as former president. See, this is the sick world we live in. So this was yesterday. Here's a picture of it. And here's the article. Two former presidents from both parties, so the Republicans and the Democrats, blast the state of American politics in an unprecedented day. It was 1019. Now, I've never seen this in my life. Ever in my life have I seen a Republican and a Democrat. Man, they really hate Trump. You know, they, people hate Trump so much. I can't explain the hatred because this is skull and bones. And I believe he's trying to do exactly what he said he's trying to do. I believe God is using him, whether you uh, like him or not, it's irrelevant. God uses kings in the Bible to bring judgment and to prosperity and, and to expose things. So now we're going to get Bush and Obama attack this president in in New Jersey and uh, you know why they're doing this <clears throat> for election purposes he also mentioned Russia's influence in the 2016 presidential election now what they should really be and they're and they're inciting a, a race war right here both Bush and Obama right here bigotry or white supremacy in any form is blasphemy but see, God saw this, and the warning is civil war. I, I mean, if they want to investigate something Russian, they should be investigating Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton. But they won't because they're skull and bone members. Come on, wake up, people. The end of all things is at hand. I declare that. Let, let's go back. So here's, so Obama, he gives this speech. Now, does everybody remember who regularly follows this channel? This is 1019, yesterday. Does everybody remember... When 
I received the revelation. I was shown the number 37 by an angel. The Lord told me something. Remember I posted the other day that the 37 meant war and, and the Holy Spirit revealed to me that it was, it was not just military war, but it was also spiritual war and it was civil war. I want to discuss the civil war they're bringing upon the United, uh, United States right now through, through skull and bones and elite and demonic people enthroned in high places as spirits. Of, I don't know why. This is a very hard video to make. I'm pressing on. Even through a spiritual attack on me, I'm saying Jesus, Jesus, Jesus during the pauses. That's how bad the spiritual war is we're in. I'm still pressing on in Jesus' name. And that should be a message to everybody here that we press on. And when we come under attack, we stand up and gird up and pray up and, and we put on the armor of God and we stand against the evil one in this evil day. We don't have to let him run us over if we know who we are in Christ. So I was talking about this, that same angel visited me in my room and I made a video about it. The Lord told me that was the same messenger angel from my dream that showed me the three seven. Now he stands over our bed and protects my wife and I. Praise be to Jesus. <clears throat> Here's uh, here. So Obama gives this speech at the Robert Treat Hotel, and on now watch this on ten nineteen yesterday's date on ten nineteen he stays at the Robert Treat Hotel. The stump for Murphy. Now, this is a governor and lieutenant governor election going on there. And he's the Dom Democratic nominee to succeed Governor <clears throat> Chris Christie. And he says, now watch this. It, this is a Barack, a Barack Obama. Call him whatever you want. In 19 days, the world is going to be looking at New Jersey. On the 19th, this corrupt man comes in trying to to rig this election using a uh, Bush, a Republican, it, he says, in 19 days, the world is going to look and see what kind of politics we believe in. In 19 days. And he says this on the 19th. And he, he says it, and then he says it again. I can't count the times he said 19 on 10, 19. It's the 21st century, he said, not the 19th century. Why didn't he say the 20th century? I mean, 19, 19, 19. Here's his tweet, actually, right here. In 19 days, the world is going to be looking at New Jersey. I believe he meant that. I believe that's uh, November 7th when they have their election. November 7th. 19 days from yesterday is, is 11, 7, 17. So he's saying it from this hotel. And when I brought up this uh, Robert Treat Hotel, I could really use your help on this because I haven't been able to find it. Remember the flags I saw at half mast? It was the first thing I thought of. These four, five flags, and they're like leaning out. And there's this red and yellow and white one in the middle. Do you see this uh, right above this van? This is where he gave the speech from. I I'm wondering, like, what flag is this? I mean, clearly we have the... The U.S. flag and, and this white one right here, I looked that up. That's the, uh, the second one from the left on the building. That's the state of New Jersey flag. You can look that up. But I don't know what this red, white, and yellow one is. But I saw those colors and all these other prophecies that are coming to pass on the flag. Remember Spain and other areas. So the Lord told me, now watch this. The Lord told me, he said, on 1019... Do you remember I told you to watch for a Barack Obama to give a speech? Does everybody remember that video? <clears throat> the date was September 5th, 2017. And this is what I heard, September 5th, before all these fires started, right? Fire, flood, fighting, and division. This is something Obama said. He said the five fives that prepare for fire, flood, and fighting, and fumes. And, uh, and, and then the Holy Spirit told me now, because this part has happened, the state of California is on fire. I understand London's on fire. Everything's on fire all of a sudden and flooding. And then I put now prepare for Obama's speech. Okay, so now he has, he has given a speech in New Jersey. And he's going to give another speech on the last day of October. On the evil pagan day. The, the Call it what you want. 
the October 31st. I'm not even going to say it, but I don't partake in that. But look at the 97. Remember I was showing the number 97 here? This is amazing to me. So I'm talking about Obama to give a speech. Now let's go. So Obama, he does give a speech. He does it on 1019. They're using numbers. So I'm going to tell you, I'm just get to the gist of this. Barack Obama sent coded message 1019, 19 days, 19, uh, 19 century. He intentionally is sending out a message. A message to people to rise up and prepare for civil war they are stirring up and creating a civil war that was what the warning about Obama's speech was now I believe the 31st 11 days from now his speech is going to be way worse as we go into November but this has this prophecy right here prepare for his speech has happened and it happened right here where the red and yellow flag is and so God told me, okay, 9 and 7. He said, that's 16. 9 and 7 is 16. He said, I want you to count 16 days from the day Obama gave that speech. Now watch. He gave it on 1019. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 this Saturday it's Saturday November 4th and it's three days before the elections you get this what is November 4th Saturday it's basically Civil War Day with the Antifa he sent out a coded message to America's enemies to rise up and prepare as a leader, as a leader using uh, another former leader, he has sent out a, a message using the code 1019. 1019 in police code, what, what I was in the industry, 1019 means repeat the last message, repeat the last message, repeat the last message. And it's it happens to be 19, 19, 19, he says. It's talking about, and so the, the bottom line is <laughs> we've seen the corruption. And we're going to see the election, and the calamity is going to come. I'm talking about hardcore, devastated calamity. And again, I can't put a timeline on this stuff, but God can. And when He does, I will share. If I put a timeline on anything, it will fail. What is this flag? I've got to know. Can you help me? So, November 4th, I want to talk about that. And then God takes it even further in a multifaceted, mind blowing way. He said, Paul, who is the 16th president? And I knew right off the bat. I can only remember like three of them, amen, but I knew that one. I said it's Abraham Lincoln. And so I put who was the 16th president, and it's Abraham Lincoln. And you know what he's known for? The leader who successfully prosecuted the Civil War to preserve the nation. Do you see the message here? They talk in codes and numbers, man. I'm telling you, it's time for people to wake up. Uh, okay, so let's go to the the nuclear part of this. So I just I just randomly Google Antifa Civil War November fourth, and this pops up. Now watch Antifa waging civil war. Civil war. Civil war. We're going to talk about this military war. And look at the time on the article. It's 937. It's both numbers that God has showed me. He showed me a 37. People could bear witness that that meant war. And then he showed me a 97. And that is the USS Halsey. We're going to step into the military aspect of this now. Lord Jesus, help us. Antifa waging civil war on November 14th. So you have, you have Barack Obama coming out and fulfilling a prophetic message given in here from 12-1-2015 after God said to prepare now for Obama's speech. He gives a speech with a former president 
who most people think are enemies, but they're not. They're all in this together as skull and bones, comes out and gives this speech. And he said in 19 days on 1019, this is not the 19th century, you're, you're going to, everything is going to look like, the United States is going to look at New Jersey. It's a coded message. And then if you actually count out the, the 16 days from the 9-7, it's on November 4th. I'll prepare for civil war. So we've seen the spiritual war aspect of this. We've seen prophecy fulfillment. We, we've seen the civil war rising up in just, you know, a little over a couple weeks. We've seen the coded message speech by Obama sent out, backed by former President George Bush, the 9-11, the 9-11, listen to me, uh, involvement. And now I want to discuss the military aspect of this warning. Remember in the video we talked about nuclear? Is everybody still with me here? Am I boring anybody? Let me know. We, we, this, the Holy Spirit has shown uh, me uh, the USS Theodore Roosevelt and the USS Halsey. The Halsey is what, what number? It's the USS 97. That's the number. 97. So now, Sister Beth Doodle sent me this article. This is the USS Theodore Roosevelt. Now, I took a close look at this picture. This is not, this, this is an oiler. I was on aircraft carrier. It looked identical to this one. All the jets are out on top. Sometimes they're in the hangar bay because uh, that means they're in a ready position. Otherwise, they'd be down here. There's elevators that take them from this hangar bay up to the top. This is an oiler. Clearly, I can see this is an oiler. Normally, these ships wouldn't be this far apart, but what these things do is they shoot over these hoses, and it can take off fuel and stuff. So this is a fuel ship. They call them oilers. But So that's not the Halsey. But, but listen to this. Already at each other's throats, the U.S. and North Korea could see tensions escalate even further when U.S. President Donald Trump embarks on a visit to Asia early Monday. Now take, take a look at these dates here. Because remember, God said it's the timing of it all. Take a look at these dates. The U.S. Navy is gathering its fleet at North Korean leader Kim Jong-un's doorstep to coincide with the Commander-in-Chief's tour, which will start in Hawaii on November 3rd. What, what, what day is November 3rd? It's the day before the planned Civil War at Tefa, while Obama's sending out these codes to them. And look who the USS Theodore Roosevelt is. And the reason why I mention Roosevelt, because I've been talking about Roosevelt for literally two or three years. And it's the timing of it all coming to pass right now with magna with magnification, man. It look 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 who it's with. It's with guided missile destroyers, USS Halsey. That's the number nine seven. And remember, and God said, count the days. So we're talking about military war, spiritual war. And civil war. Civil war. It's all going down and the coded message has been sent out. Watch for the speech. The speech is given right down to the area of New Jersey. So there's calamity coming. It's under, I'm, I'm trying to be very clear and, and, uh, and bring clarity that calamity is coming. And the first shot has been fired via a speech by Obama and Bush. Here's a video. Can I get a date? October 11th. So nine days ago. The timing of it all. Donald Trump, USS Roosevelt, and North Korea. Nine days ago. They send out the message. Here's the Roosevelt. Here's the USS Halsey. All 
leaving the day before the planned Antifa civil war, and this being ship number 97. Do you think this is something a, a mind could make up? Here's the area. I just want to end it with one more provable, verifiable thing. You see this? And I'm not doing numbers. I'm just... It's sad that we have to explain Holy Spirit revelations to people. This is this is 897, I believe it is. The 97. This is where the coded message came out from. I'm going to show you. This is where, this is where on 1019... Obama gave the speech in 19 days, and we're not the 19th century. This is where he gave the speech from. Now watch what the Holy Spirit gave me. At, this is where he gave the speech from right here. 50 Park Place. 50 Park Place. You know, like Park Place on Monopoly. And so I'm like, Lord, what are you showing me? What are you showing me? And I scroll over across this waterway, and you won't believe what I saw. I mean, this is why my mind is blown in making this video. By these railroad tracks and all this is an area called, of all things, Somerset. Remember when the Lord showed me Somerset? I'll do it like this. Right there. See that? Somerset. Is this an airport? Right here. Somerset Street. It's not going to cooperate with me. Let me... Hi, babe. Go ahead. You can... I'm wrapping this up. It turned out to be a long video. Remember when God gave me the word Somerset? Okay, now watch now. I'm going to put in Somerset Street because the Holy Spirit gave me the word Somerset. And we saw things being fulfilled behind that word. Now he's showing me Somerset again. Watch. Oh, I guess it's even over here, too. It's a long street. Well, look, look at Somerset Street. Anybody here? No. Look, Somerset Street. And, and again, Somerset Street. And here's where Obama gave the speech I was told to watch from. Anyway, this thing's not going to cooperate, and I'm not going to. You, you saw the map. The devil is a lie. Man, share this video. What, what's, what's, what's the Holy Spirit revealing? Here, I'm going to tell you what he's revealing. The coming civil war. When we talk about false flags, there's nothing bigger I can think of than a civil war planned revolution that corrupt, that brings the calamity while we're approaching nuclear war. I cannot think of a false flag higher than that or a more destructive thing than to have civil war here being planned by skull and bones elite sending out coded messages but God knew it in advance he even gave me a scripture he even gave me a scripture look Matthew 12 25 which is a 3 7 and, and it's talking about civil war some translations even use civil war just do a search on Civil War Bible Scripture. And he's talking about every kingdom divided against itself will be laid waste. And every city or household divided against itself will not stand. Civil War. God bless you. I'm presenting you this message asking you to share it. Prepare. As for me, Lord willing, if I'm alive, I'm not going out on that day. And I believe you should begin praying to take protective measures against what they're planning through prayer. Amen. You're prayed up. Thank you for listening.